Member for North Coast. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I'd like to just respond to some of the, uh, the comments that the uh, member has uh, stated in his response to my uh, statement. Uh, no related health issues reported. There are no related health issues reported because no one's actually testing for those health related issues. I would like to know if there's any, uh, any motivation on the other side of the house to actually examine the potential health related issues to drinking uh, accumulated lead levels over time to the citizens and the children of Prince Rupert. The government knew in 2012, the government published a report in 2014 saying this is a public health priority, other Northwest schools should be tested, and they didn't test. And as one parent said to me, so my child has been drinking lead for four years. I didn't know, but the Ministry of Health did know. So what is going to be done for that family and all the other families? Um, it's well known that health for decades, that there's older plumbing uh, in schools and the, and the Ministry of Health has taken a proactive er, 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 approach. I will contest that vociferously because Northern Health chief medical officers have told me, Jennifer, we do not have a mandate to routinely test schools. The, the process is even written in the legislation. They operate on a complaints-based process usually by the complaints of a teacher or a parent. So there's no proactiveness in testing drinking water for lead in schools in British Columbia, Honourable Speaker. I would just like to quote one thing from the, the, the Ministry of Health's own report. For lead, school water alone could have substantially contributed to a child's daily lead intake, and when equivalent concentrations in residential water were considered, water more than doubled typical tolly total lead intakes. So this minister's uh, own scientist is saying this is a public health concern, not just in the schools, but in the community. However, there has been no leadership to inform other residents. The only communication that has been done was a letter written by the Ministry of Health staff on behalf of the school superintendent in Prince Rupert that was sent home in the backpacks of kindergartners with artwork and apple juice that may or may not be read by parents. No other public health notice was made. Not a single thing on the Northern Health website. In fact, their website was down when this story broke. They canceled in their uh, public health meeting that they have in the Northwest, they canceled the media inquiry, so media weren't even allowed to write in about their, their regularly board scheduled meetings. Nothing, not a Facebook post, not a tweet. Thank you, Member.